Hi, my name is Lauren Broom, and for my engineering capstone project, I made a Bluetooth-controlled KitchenAid mixer. My inspiration behind this project was my love for cooking and my love for engineering, so I decided to combine the two together and make something I had never seen before. Why? So I think most of us know how a KitchenAid mixer works, but if you don't, here's a quick little recap. Um, you plug it into the wall, you start it, turn the switch, it goes all the way to level 10, from off to level 10 with speeds in between. But for my project, obviously I needed to make it Bluetooth controlled. So I had to remove all of the mechanical parts that control the speed from the back. Fine. While researching this project, I realized that these two different parts needed two com had com two completely different electric current levels. So the actual motor is controlled by AC power and needs about 120 volts to go. And the Bluetooth, Arduino, and Triac only need about five volts. And is DC power. In this small little box, there's a lot going on. There are four main components. The triac that controls the motor. There's a Arduino microcontroller that controls the triac. There's a Bluetooth device that receives information from this phone and sends the power level to the Arduino. And then there's also a nine volt battery that basically powers it all with the DC current. This is just a quick little photo of what's inside that little box. Um, everything's pretty packed in there, but it all fits and it all still works when it's closed up. But you can see there the 9-volt battery, you can see the microcontroller, Arduino, the Triac, and the Bluetooth, and then the little switch on the side to just completely power off so it's not wasting that 9-volt battery. Here's another angle of it. It looks like a bunch of wires just thrown in there, but trust me, it all works and it's all in there safely. So here is the Arduino code that controls the microcontroller and the Bluetooth. So for most of this code, I was luckily able to find YouTube videos that did similar projects and um, use a lot of their code since I do not have the most knowledge on computer science and coding. But here it is. Um, it controls the Bluetooth and the power levels and just communicating the Arduino controller with the um, Bluetooth device. For this project I ended up spending around $250. Um, all the small parts such as the Arduino microcontroller, the Triac, the Bluetooth, and just like miscellaneous wires and such were around $10 to $15 each. And then the two most expensive items were the mixer itself which was $70 and then the Google Pixel phone which was $70 also. Here is an exact price breakdown for anyone wondering and all of the main components that I used throughout this project. Now getting into why I needed a Google Pixel phone. Sadly, the Apple phones do not play nice with any other developers than themselves. So the website that I used, MIT App Inventor, I needed an Android phone to run my code. I designed an app that was able to be downloaded onto this phone, and here it is. There we go. So this is what the actual app looks like on the phone. So that's what it transferred over to on the phone. Um, I basically just designed it on the side. It was pretty simple for the actual designing of the app. And then on the next picture, it'll show the breakdown of what actually happens. So all of those different buttons on the bottom are controlling the speed. And yeah, that's about it. It was pretty simple. I watched a YouTube video on that also. I do remember I had a few small issues when trying to actually download the app to the phone and convert it over, but with troubleshooting and looking up some help online, I was able to figure it out. Here's the mixer before removing all of those mechanical parts that controlled the speed of the motor. Um, so in the next clip I am removing those wires and then later on I would solder them and attach them to the parts that the parts that were in the box. The Arduino microcontroller, the triad, and the Bluetooth device. Here I am soldering the two wires together. Is that together? Yeah. Okay. 
and I used a blowtorch to put the shrink wrap on so that it's safer and stays connected. Good. So I also had a few mistakes that had happened. Um, originally I tried to put all of the working pieces into that small little part behind the motor, but then I tried running it and burned some cardboard on accident. Then discovered that not all of it would fit in there, so that's when I moved to the bigger box and just attached it at the bottom. So here we are using it practically. Um, the switch is already on, so now we just have to connect to the app. You press the top, connect to it, and here we go, setting two. There we go, setting four, setting six, you get it, there we go, and off. There we go. A huge shout out to my dad, David Burham, who helped me with this entire project. I would not have been able to do it without him, and I probably would have blown up my house if he was not there to help me.